Hello, everyone. Welcome, one and all, to episode 14 of Craft Games Craft Beer. My name is Zach. I'm Matt. And I'm David. And that pause was like pregnant with triplets. Indeed. <laughs> Triplet pregnant. Um, well, for this episode, I am so very joyous and happy. I am $3.23 of happy to be playing uh, Prince of Persia 2008. Let's show him. Oh, yeah. Bam. How, how pretty this game is. This game is incredibly pretty. How deliciously pretty this game is. This is one of my most favorite guilty pleasure games, which really oughtn't to be as good as it is. And to go along with that, we're going to be drinking... Ah, oh, it's so good. Courtesy of Tristan... Oh, oh. Uh, uh, oh no. I'm oh. horrible at video switching. It's fine. That's the wrong one. That's the wrong one. That's the right one. Mischief. Belgian-style ale from the brewery. Uh, also a guilty pleasure. Uh, not really, but it's apparently not quite evil, yet not quite to be trusted. So, David, I will let you pour that as I get started Sounds playing. Sounds mischievous. It is. So we did get a chance to start a little bit into this game, just to get past the tutorial levels to show you all the pretty pretty. This is a game that Zach and I both enjoy probably a lot more. <laughs> I'd say a lot more than Wait. is kind of the common well it, again of this it game. was $3.23 at a retail store yeah <laughs> clearly it has lost whatever popularity it had you know what and it uh, I'm glad I could pick a copy up for so cheap yeah it's, uh, it's, it's 2008 release for the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 um, it is obviously a follow-up to the very very uh, what uh, well-regarded Prince of Persia, Sands of Time, Sands of Time and then because that trilogy happened, and then this was kind of a reboot after the and two you, follow -ups. Ubisoft actually developed this. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, this was actually yes. Ubisoft. This is done in the Assassin's Creed engine. Mm -hmm. So you kind of have an idea of what you're in for here. Yeah. Uh, so the thing about this game... <laughs> Should well, I try to die? Well, I'm sure no. it'll happen eventually. Uh, so... so this game was divisive, let's say, and that's probably being generous. It was unpopular for a couple of reasons. Absolutely. Uh, one of the things that, I, that people really love about uh, Sands of Time, mm -hmm. uh, and really the entire Prince of Persia series, is kind of the precision with the movement and everything. And, I mean, Sands of Time was a hard freaking game at times. Yeah. Uh, and the way they got around that was they had the time mechanic, so you could you could uh, rewind time and, and kind of fix your mistakes. Still, it was punishing. This game is kind of the opposite of that. The time mechanics are gone, uh, but in its place you have Elika, who is your female companion who travels with you throughout the game. Sassy female companion. Sassy female companion. Yeah. Um, oh! I almost forgot, before I play any farther, before we... I just want to take a quick aside here. We're going to play the Prince of Persia drinking game. Oh, no. oh yes, we and are. And this drinking game is every time Elika says the word fertile ground, you take a drink. So feel free to drink along. I better We're already that. a couple <laughs> drinks behind, actually, because we didn't drink for it's the first true. couple times. So, um, just, uh... so, sassy female companion Elika... Uh, is magic, and she's just as acrobatic as you are, except she's allergic to vines, I think is how we... Yeah, allergic to vines. <laughs> it's really tragic. <laughs> um, but, so, she actually saves your ass when normally you would have to rewind time. Um, she ends up fixing your mistakes for you, and what that means is there is a very, very low... Come on, come on. Um, Did I go too ...consequence. Far? No, no, you're in the right. No, I'm in the right. You're in the right note. So vines are to her as chain link fences are to the infamous guy. Yes. Um, she she can't climb them, but that's basically the only thing you can do that she can't do, and she has magic. Um, reminds me a bit of the Ico. Uh, yeah. So I mean, you'll see some of that come into play here, but basically the entire structure of the game is you're going through uh, and. Uh, resurrecting these fertile grounds that have been uh, corrupted. You're purifying. All right, Nolan North, be witty. Yes. Ah. <laughs> uh, main main character is this is like height of the Nolan North. Height of Nor <coughs> height like of Nolan North time. Fervor. This is glorious. Yeah, Nolan North, aka Nathan Drake, aka every video game ever. male protagonist ever. How do I? Oh. D yeah. Down on it. Oh, is it? Uh, mm? She was just touching the vines right there. Ah. Uh. Yeah, apparently. 
Well, did she say for oh, top Oh, did round? she really? <laughs> wow. Sorry. Right. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Tim, for... Yeah. You're never gonna quit on you, Tim. Um, she so she magically flies to you so she can hang off your back while you're climbing by. <laughs> she's she a is a freeloader, is what totally it comes down to. Um, but yeah, so the entire game is is structured in these kind of fertile grounds that uh, drink fixing them. I, yeah. Oh, when I say it. Uh, oh, sure. Did she say? It's the ropes. Oh, God. I'm fine to drink this. This is delicious beer. That's good to hear. Um, and so you're purifying these things, and you're going around, and they oh, end up giving you powers. I forgot about the whole... Oh, I get to, like, mash the button, and it's going to be glorious. I'm oh, my God. This, I'm going to make this oh, go on forever. Awkward as all hell. Uh, so, yeah, you have oh. to go around... They, they, the way the designers described it is a... Uh, a node system. There are a bunch of these It's like nodes. a Metroidvania, but instead of actually yeah. picking up power-ups, you're picking up kind of generic power that you spend on power-ups yeah. eventually. So you've got to do four nodes, and then you get a power? Uh, uh, well, it depends on how many light seeds you can get. Yeah. You can yeah, actually no, get away with the light two, seeds. two and a half nodes yeah. if you're really good about it. Yeah. Um, um, so, so when you purify a, uh, an area... Uh, it. Come on, Perry. You'll see it. But uh, what what'll happen is there will be these little orbs that are called light seeds. Uh, this is Bam. is this the warrior? Yeah, this is the yeah warrior. this is the warrior. So uh, there's basically four bosses in the entire game. Um, yes, he is in fact on the ground of fertility right now. Uh, the warrior the warrior was guarding this one, and he ends up guarding two others throughout the game. Um, wait, is the final, is it two and then one more, right? No, so, uh, there's a final no, no, the, the warrior, oh, I can't go to the map in this mode. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, the warrior guards four fertile grounds, drink, in the, um, uh. That wasn't the matching that he was talking no, about. No, that wasn't it. Uh, four fertile grounds in the, uh. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> in, okay, I'll, I'll try not to. In, in this area, and then he has like one boss little area where he he's not guarding anything, he's just there and you have to kill him. It's three and then the boss area. What now? No, it's five and then the boss area. I'm not sure. It's a number and then a boss area. Oh, yeah, no, I'm sorry, he does get all the nodes. Yeah. Okay, ready? Rich, okay, put it put it on the, because this is the really pretty, pretty. No, you gotta put it on the game. Put it on the game. Uh, is that this? this there you one? go, okay, ready? Yeah, there we go. Oh, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. I have to. You have to put it back so you can see me mashing this button. Ready? Oh, 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 just kidding. Playing with you. You are like, such a oh, dick. Oh. oh, God. Was that good for you? That was good for me. I need, I need to take a shower. <laughs> I'll be in my bunk. <laughs> God damn it, Zach. Oh. So, it's like, the first time I had to do this, I was just like... For real? Is that what just happened? <laughs> I like I pulled you into the room. I was like, "Is this really happening? Did this just happen?" Oh God! Fertile ground. I put or Maz put a baby in there. Divine conception. God. Mm hmm. Yeah. In, in fact, yes. So Ormazd is the, the god evil of god. No, that's, or, that's. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ormazd is is the god yeah, of light. Arman is the god of dark. The, the god of dark. That was it. Um, so by wow. purifying the fertile ground, fertile ground set, set in the game. The fertile ground is pure now. Hello! Oh, hey, mm -hmm. Jenna. That's I must like steal three. another fertile ground. Yeah. Uh, fertile ground, fertile ground, fertile ground. <laughs> you don't count. Um, so... You're in fine shape for that. God. Take me to a light Take me to a light seed. Zach. Take oh, I'll put a light seed in you. <laughs> There's that one, like... Horrible. Okay, so, uh, Horrible, Zach. Can we, can we go about the good things about this game? Yes. Okay, let's go over the good things in this game. Uh, so, I will also put a, a disclaimer here. I had never played any of the Sands of Time trilogy games before playing this, and a lot of what I think people had to complain about this game is it's not like Sands of Time. It definitely is I, not like Sands of Time. It's not at all like Sands of Time, but it's not trying to be. Yeah. Uh, so, basically this game is a flowy platforming game that's really pretty to look at. 
Uh, and it's got a collectible. And it's got a on, oh, on it, down. It, but it, they're they're collectibles that are actually gettable. Like, yeah, they're they're it's it's a reasonable amount of collectibles. Um, they help you and uh, they they help you. They empower you. They unlock the powers. Right now, right, right now we need sixty for the first power. Sixty. Oh, oh, oh uh, death Good number job. one. Yep. Death number one on the stream. So that that was that whole uh, there is no consequence thing that I was talking about earlier. Yeah. Uh, you can die. You can fall off a ledge or whatever, and she will save you every time. Ah. Uh, Which is uh, people were. In I feel like that. Ah, uh, oh, you missed that it. kind of thing should be an option to reset. Kind of uh, so the the so a lot of times in the Sands of Time series. The penalty for missing a, a jump or whatever is you would die, and you have to sort of like restart to the beginning of the mm -hmm. room or whatever. Ugh. Um, you can't even recycle to to go and get that one you missed. You've got to go all the way back around. Yeah, it's jump. terrible. So, but the penalty here is that only when you're on solid ground will she put you back. So if you're in the middle of like, especially towards the end of the game when there are a lot of like really long platforming segments. The, the, uh, it's just a really generous checkpointing. Yes, that's yeah. basically like, all it is. Mechanic, Do I want to go back and grab some white seeds? Touching yeah. your feet to the ground is a yeah. checkpoint. What I like about this game is that the collectible system. Ah. Oh, God. I, I'm a noob. Total noob. Uh, the collectible system is bound up in exploring the worlds when they're not ugly as crap. Yeah. When they're all corrupted, they're ugly and not fun to look at. So any other game would have you restore the environment and yeah. then leave it immediately. Yeah, exactly. Uh, this game is like, oh hey, you just restored the environment. Now, now you here's get to go. some low pressure platform puzzling that you get to do uh, and navigate this environment and collect these seeds. And that's kind of your reward for uh, having restored each node. Is there nothing in this little area? Did I miss all of them? Yeah, no. Oh, um, oh, no, I got a thing. Hey, look, check that out. How do we get up there? Yeah. Oh, it looks like just up on the boards. Really? Oh, I'm terrible at this game. You really yeah. are. No. Yeah, and so I can basically, like, kind of half miss this, and it'll, like, pick up the slack for me, which is pretty awesome. Oh, hey, the, that's a red node? Yeah. No. Um, so, so that was... Okay, but, yeah. So you can see they're kind of scattered around the like the area that I was going before. Come on. Uh, so, and some of them you can't get right now. Yeah. Um, you you see the there are little circular pa panels on the wall. You want to pan it up so that. So on the left side there, it's kind of hard to see, but here I'll. I'll... Yeah. Uh, right above the right above the camera there. Um, those panels are currently inactive, and he will spend the light seeds to get them to activate them Do it. um which then obviously opens new areas in the environment which is you know just another reason to go back and explore these yes. um environments to their fullest which is this is super flowy i love it yeah uh, yeah like or uh Kayan was saying how animations he likes how, how she follows us around and yeah i think that's super natural cool. like she never gets in your way like if you if you run in a direction she will get out of your way She's, yeah there's no collision really with her. Um, they managed to get her out of the way in time. How do I get over there? Which is oh, very okay. nice compared to uh, oh. some of the companion characters you have to deal with. Yeah. Like I uh, go all the way to yeah. the bottom first. Go all the way to the bottom of this. I know. I'm just oh, they won't oh. let me pan. Oh man. <laughs> Bing. Am I still gonna die if I do this? Uh, if you drop from here, yeah. You want to get over to the. Uh... This did you get? You didn't get the orb that you were going all the way around for. Oh, did you? Yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> it didn't look like <sighs> it. Mm. All right. So going to the next area. Uh, navigate the, through the other one. So no, I don't. Oh, what? Oh, oh. Fine. Follow the light seed, man. We got to show them all the different areas. You're never gonna get a power if you if you're not. Uh, there's like tons of them on the on the other side. But, yeah. Maybe I don't want to play your way. Oh, oh, good, good oh. job, Prince. Yeah, done. so I'm gonna try to get a power in the hour. It is very low impact. Like this, this game is exceedingly low impact. How do um, I even oh, uh, what do I even? What am I doing? Oh, okay, good job. There you go. Uh, but what that lets them do is they've got this really kind of uh, very very flowy 
system that you don't oh. have to feel bad for experimenting or, or uh, messing up, even though it's even though it's fairly because it's so forgiving in its input um, like patterns, basically. You end up with uh, uh, it, it, everything feels like you're really good at it, even though <laughs> it's kind of a lie. Oh, totally fine. Or you're Zach, and you just can't even make it look like you're really good at it. Yeah. Uh, if you if you miss by several degrees, that's dumb. Uh, if you miss by several degrees, if you like kind of catch a ledge, the the amount you can run along a wall is preposterous. Yes, yeah, it's, it's obscene. Uh, that all those sorts of things combine to like make you look really awesome when you really oughtn't to be. I'm gonna go. Okay, finally gonna go back. Collected enough light seeds. We definitely, uh, Kayan is asking about, like, why does she even have you here? And we were asking that. She's allergic to vines, Yeah, is one thing, and, um... That's not canon, that's just our head canon for uh, this game. And also, she doesn't, she's not great at attacking Yeah, she's, she's, she's very weak, uh, although she has some badass, uh, uh, magical attacks that you do incorporate. Um, that, that's another, that's another aspect of the game, is the combat. The combat is very much like the platforming in that it's all about flow. Yes, and it's totally different from the old Prince of Persia combat. F flow is something that um, I'm, I'm obsessed with, and it's kind of this horrible, horribly overused term. Uh, but just the feel of... How do I even... You can, you can Elika jump off that, eh, no. or you can just kind of do that. Heck yes! Oh! Ah! Princess! That's actually faster. Um, Bastards to die. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So you can see no the penalty. borders. Yes. Yeah, so, so so he's gone into another corrupted zone. Yada yada yada. Um, so like the combat is all about flow, and it it is less successful. I would submit. Mm. Uh, it, it is it is a combo based system. Um, you kind I don't of think got... it's less successful. I liked it. Okay. So I think that's a lot. Of, a lot of people didn't like that because it wasn't like you're running down like hordes of dudes. Yeah. Um, but like, it means every combat feels kind of epic and like, it's it's a. It, I think it's a difficulty issue because it's so freaking easy. Yeah. Uh, that the combat feels like less intense because it's super easy. Uh, but the the flow of the combos is really like almost every uh type of attack. Like you're all the face buttons are different types so, of yeah. platforming. So, A is jump, X is your... Uh, I guess X doesn't work for platforming. X doesn't do anything. Um, but, like, circle or B is grapple, and Y is uh, Elika. And that sort of goes up to uh, combat as well. And so the combat feels natural. Almost everything combos into almost everything else. So you can basically make these, like, kind of organic long combos without really knowing the combat system yeah. just by knowing that tr or Y is Elika and B is Grapple. I am kind of with Kane in that it doesn't feel especially flowy when you're the doing it unless there's actual challenge plateau. there. Yeah. We can use the vines to get oh, first it. make our way across. It's like playing Guitar Hero on very easy. You don't really... Let's find out. So I would say that this, yeah, this doesn't have psychological flow in that way. I agree... I think we were talking maybe about flow in two different oh, is ways. Is this the zone that I think it is? Oh, you yeah, this is. You should totally short stop that guy. Oh, wait, no. Oh. That wasn't a guy. I thought that was a guy uh, who was spawning. Oh. It was just a land. Lamp. We just lost our way out lamp. <laughs> the alchemist. Oh, it's the alchemist. Oh, yeah. Oh, I hate this guy. I love this guy. I dislike his final battle. Or, no, I dislike. Dislike you. I dislike, like, his. So actually, I, one, I would, I would ask you to clarify, are you talking about psychological flow, or are you talking about, like, game flow? I'm talking about both. So, because, like, the game flow has no psychological flow to me. Like, it, it, there's no challenge. You never feel yeah. challenge. Same with flower. Those both employ, like, I think, gaming flow? I don't know how yeah. to describe it. Like, sure. Climb on the oh, wait, 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 wait. Like wait ready for the screw gravity one. moment? Gravity! I do. Wait, 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 that. wait for this. Gravity! Gravity! Yeah, I love that. Physics! <laughs> love it. Yeah, like, uh, that, this is that. Basically, this is this game in a nutshell. So, so I think the psychological flow comes from kind of my own, the rules that I set for myself when I play it. Um, 
more so than the game itself. Um, so you do it through flourishes, basically? Yeah. <clears throat> but it is... This game. So this game is more about freestyling, uh, because it's, away it's from there. Fault. Yeah, a little. Like, I, I remember when I played this game, there you go. like, I was really... I was more disappointed when I Here. fell and let Elika save me on my first playthrough than I would have been dying and reloading a checkpoint, if that makes sense. Um, and part of that comes from the fact that it is very easy. Uh, it's like in Devil May Cry, when you die a bunch of times, it unlocks easy mode for you. It's like that, except it starts out that way. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Darkness. Darkness. Oh, oh, uh, exactly. I just said it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What? Not fair. Yeah, this guy's got some dick moves. Wall events. So much fun. Yeah, I hate the wall events. Bring him cl <laughs> see, see, it's that. It's those moments that break up the the rhythm of the. Once, yeah, once you're in a combo. The, yeah, no, absolutely. The combos feel fantastic, but. The ways uh, that you break. Smash. Yeah, so if, if you're not paying attention and you're just mashing the buttons, you can get through battles pretty much just as well. Yeah. Um, as long as it's like, oh, he's blocking all of my attacks, change it up to a grab starter, change it up to Elika. Um, okay, wait, wait, hold on. Sex jokes aside, there's some really good bit of audio design here when you, like, you have to mash the Y button in order to get her to do her thing. Um, if... Is everyone else seeing the game? Okay, well, Lago? hopefully the game is not lagging. Oh, jeez. We're getting a lot of dropped frames. What the heck is that about? Wow, dang. Uh, okay, That's we'll try to work on that. strange. Uh, well, in any case, can you guys see the game? Is it coming Make through? it sure? That's very strange. Mm. Yeah, it, it we we can leave it like this indefinitely. Um, okay. Huh. Do we want to try and? It's uh, just choppy. Um. Do we want to try to adjust it real quick? Uh yeah. Okay. So I think we're gonna sign out for a second. We're gonna restart the stream, so uh, we can make sure that the game stuff yeah. is. Yeah. Sorry about that, guys. Back. Again, hopefully, maybe dropping we're still frame. dropping frames. I think that Twitch is just getting hammered right now. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Um, so we're we're gonna power through here. I think we we've, we've dropped our bitrate, we've dropped our frames, um, or rather, we we. I'm dropped... just gonna be watching that number for the rest of the night. You should yeah. continue playing. Okay. Um, <laughs> So, if you guys are really having trouble and you want to take a look, we'll upload this to the archives on YouTube, mm -hmm. and uh, it should be much, much better quality there because we're also capping a local, uh, local copy here. So that's yeah. going to be full frames. Okay, yeah. good. So, um, so sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, so put it up on the game full. Uh, I want you guys to hear that the audio design, particularly. Um, you suck. Did we lose? Let's just click it. We lost hotkeys. Hooray! So, uh, I want you guys to hear this audio design. When you push the button, Ormaz kind of comes out and it's all light and pretty, but then when you let go, Aramon, the god of darkness, you can hear his whispering kind of at the edges of the sound. I thought that was really cool. I just like pushing this button. You do. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm very aware of that. So I don't know if you guys could hear that. It was I might have been a little too subtle, uh, but I thought that like it's that sort of thing that I think is really cool. Yeah, there's a lot of little touches to the aesthetic design of this game, um, and and that's what it comes down to is really um, they sacrifice the difficulty in order to Corruption make the game. Looks like we have a way out of here. Just very visually satisfying mm -hmm. and 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 very very pretty to play, um, and and the the. Just the animation and the environments and everything, uh, they, they 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 want the player to be able to experience it and not be frustrated by it. 
Um, and that comes through their design pretty thoroughly, I think. Um, and that was, I mean, that's, it's kind of an aesthetic versus difficulty uh, thing that is, it's an interesting choice. Not many, not many developers uh, are willing to make a game that has effectively zero difficulty. And, and z zero uh, um, punishment for making mistakes, making errors. Usually, usually, kind of just traditionally. Uh, Wait a minute. What? Technically, you need to go the exit that you were just by. But Peshaw. Yeah. In fact, you could do the, the route around. Uh, this game probably speedruns really well. I, I, I suspect it does. I, 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 I would probably kind of derp that there isn't much of a difference between somebody just kind of derping around and somebody speedrunning. It's a routing. It's, it's, it's a routing. It's a routing issue. question. Yeah. It's, um, it's which ones do you go to first? And just what being are the perfect easiest? And personally, I prefer well. to watch speedruns of things that do take a lot of skill because there's something beautiful about that. Yeah. I there is beauty in. Any speedrun, I find. <laughs> wow, now we're get, we should have a show about analyzing speedruns. Yeah, we'll like, just to like art critics. Oh my god, did you see Cosmo's uh, new Wind Waker? He, he's cut like a minute and a half off his Wind Waker runs recently. You know what we should do though? It's pretty fantastic. Uh, is do the beer. So here, oh, we'll yes. take the controller. And did we lose? Really lose our hotkeys? I think so. We really did. Oh wow! Hey, I wasn't paying attention. I got it. I got it. Fine. Cool. Uh, so Matt's gonna keep playing while we talk about the beer. What's? All oh, right, right here. Unexpected. Unexpected. Yeah. So I mean, the, the, it's called <clears throat> it's called Mischief by the Brewery, and uh, it's a Belgian style ale. I I'm not usually a fan of Belgians, as regular viewers of the show should know. Racist. Uh, but it seems like almost every Bel- maybe I should revise my opinion, because almost every Belgian I've had here has been pretty okay. Um, this is- yeah, this is a Belgian style, but it's a golden ale. Um, so it kind of hovers somewhere in between, like, a blonde ale and a pale ale and a Belgian ale. Yeah, and it's definitely kind of hard to categorize. It's a bit hopsy for mm -hmm. a Belgian ale, but yeah, it's definitely got the hops. It's not messing around. It. What'd you say? Eight percent? Yeah, eight point five. Eight point five percent, unfiltered. So it's got kind of that like, yeah, the mouth feel, the uh, texture. But this thing will sneak up on you, man. Like <laughs> I had a full dinner beforehand, and I'm starting to feel it at just a glass and a half. Here. Saved it. Good job, Matt. Uh, so yeah, this is this is actually not a local San Diego brewery either. This is out of Orange County. We got this courtesy of Tristan. Uh, Shamal, you said you asked if it was a Belgian. It's actually a Belgian style ale. I'll read you the whole label. It says the brewery unfiltered bottle conditioned mischief Belgian style ale, golden and hoppy. And then here's a little spiel. Not quite evil, yet not to be trusted. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> it's mischief. It's not quite evil, but not to be trusted. Uh, so I actually really like this. So it's a chaotic neutral kind of beer. It's a chaotic neutral. There's another one. Um, it only has the slightest hint of that sort of Belgian yeast thing going on, and I think it actually really helps. It um, it almost has like some Hefeweizen action. Uh, the Belgian kind of offers that tang. I feel like it would go pretty well, surprisingly, um, in the summer. So if you guys are, I don't know where you can find this, honestly. I've never seen this before, even in San Diego. But if you're in LA, the, the brewery is somewhere. Where is it? The Orange County, it just says Orange County. So if you can get there, this beer is definitely worth a shot. Hopefully I can convince Tristan to grab another one when he goes up there inevitably for another trip. Tristan, are you there? Tristan, get another one of these. For real. Um, no, no, no. Tim can relate that. Yes. Uh, so that's it for the beer. Uh, and uh, we will have another one. I think we're kind of running low on beer. It's part of the Royal Palace. I don't know. We've got a bunch in the fridge here, but um, 
we're, we're probably going to have uh, stout next time. So if you're a fan of stouts, tune in next time. Man, I just I just remember when I was playing this game. Uh, so some of the, as you saw, some of the light seeds are hidden behind. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Are hidden behind uh, the powers that I was mentioning earlier. Yeah. That we're not gonna be able to demo today. Um, and so. No, we're totally gonna get there. We're gonna demo this power that kills us. We're just gonna go long. Just gonna go to like. 10 no, 10. dude, because you have like 40 light seeds out of 60. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Really, that's a fair point. Yeah. Yeah. So some of them are pretty deliberately hidden behind them, and some of them, like, I always have this trouble with Metroidvanias. I had the exact same problem when I was playing um, Dust, mm. where I forgot about that. Yeah, where you, this is oh, Pertal Ground. Uh, who is this again? What's the, this is the queen, the concubine. The concubine. The concubine. She never shows anything, though. She's the most well-clothed concubine of all time. Yeah. Um, or she's just made of corruption. Is also Hang not very sexy. I'll yeah, not so much sexy. Are you drunk already? Uh, no, I, I've only had racist. Like, racist much. against. Yeah. Once again, Black last time I had to share a beer just with David, it was. Um, God, it was it was the quad. It was uh, Judgment Day, the Belgian quad. God, that was intense. So, yeah, that's like so 11%, I think. they have taken they have taken Elica away from me, so I don't have the double jump anymore. But you, you still get saved. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can see. Yeah, look, look, yeah. look. Okay. No, I know. <laughs> and she does. She takes you all the way back to where she's stuck. So she's called. They all. All the bosses have backstories. Like yes. props to them. Almost every single. Like I guess the the generic soldiers don't have backstories, because. But they're just they were all part of the society that crumbled. The 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 mysterious society that lives on the edge of bottomless chasms. Yeah. It builds whole cities there. I think this is where you're supposed to be, but you that was just the wrong way to go. Yeah, that was. Just oh the, right. You gotta find her. She's somewhere up there. Well played. That's not how you're supposed to do that. Well played. <laughs> Watch out for hidden illusions. So I, I wasn't paying attention to where I was supposed to be going. Break everything you find. She's not your concubine. Yeah. Um. I can't. No, you gotta hop, hop down in the middle and start. Yeah. Again. So yeah. So so I always have the problem in Metroidvanias where there's stuff that is in an area that I have the ability to be in. But you can't get? But I don't have the power for it because I don't necessarily know the powers that I'm going to be getting. So a lot of the time, I kind of force the issue. And that happened in Dust, where I got to areas where oh, I was not yeah. supposed to be. Now I've got to go do the one that I did before. I needed the exercise. Wait. Oh, I was over here all the time. I'm sorry Wait, for the wasted effort. Exactly. Oh, I'm so confused. And she's uh, behind she's the blue. Straight. Yeah. Wait. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So where I was before. Um. But but it's 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 basically 100% transparent about the powers that you get. Yeah. The except for the fact that I still force the issue because sometimes the powers like I could could tell what the powers I'd be getting were, but I couldn't tell. Because of the nature of some of the powers. Oh, okay. Which ones were you supposed to be able to get? Yeah. So there were orbs that I, I would actually spend like 10 or 15 minutes on one orb that was just out of my reach. And half the time I would be able to get them. Yeah. And so I kind of, like, I couldn't get all of them, but there would be these ones kind of borderline that I, I kept trying for and eventually figured out a way to get. Do you want to describe the uh, combo system real quick? Uh, so... Hi. I feel like, like I mean, it's basically you press the associated button for the attack. Sword. Sword is X. A, grapple a is acrobatic, which is lets acrobatic you flip attacks. over them. I'm assuming right trigger is don't get stabbed. Which right trigger is blocked. Like literally, it's all context. Like whatever you do, th th they have this combo system set up, but there is basically almost every combination you could make. So if you push Elica when she's in the air, Elica will like go and like jump at her and. That'll juggle her up in the air until you can, you know, do another attack. Oh, so um, this game doesn't actually have a health bar for you. It's just kind of a call of duty. 
it's, have a vignette. Yeah, it's the vignette. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But the thing, yeah, the vignette takes a while to go away. If you get hit twice uh, in like, in pretty quick succession, finishing you trailer. have a uh, little quick time event to not die. But you, even if you lose that, you um, Elika saves you. But in that case, the enemies regain like half their health. Yeah. And so for the harder enemies, it's actually kind of a pain in the ass. So there's some consequence. She's a tame. She, uh, she's not a very good con combine. Look at her eyes. Well, it's been entertaining. There's a game called Guacamelee. Yeah, Guacamelee. Uh, we need to play that together, David. Okay. What? Just, just from the game. Just from right, the name, I'm in. Hit it. I will do so. <laughs> I'd forgotten that animation. <laughs> the, the like bunny hop animation. What is it? Why? Why? Ah, good stuff. I need to cigarette. You make that weird. You make that weird <laughs> every time. Why? Why you gotta? Make you have that to do weird? it like twenty times. Man. It's Eventually, true. it gets old. God, like twenty-one, right? Maybe. Yeah. Isn't there one last one? Now you're just playing with it. Indeed. Yeah. Can you stand? All right. I think this area actually had like three of the four that are gated behind powers that you don't initially have. Uh, I got anyway. Wow. It was ridiculous. Or no, it's like four per power per area that are power. That's what stages were. Five per power per area. You sure? If you don't dream, you will never be more than you are. Also, my favorite is this. There's an achievement for beating this game is less than twelve hours and beating it, dying less than a hundred. Yeah, having Elika save you less than a hundred times. And it's really easy to get both of those yeah. on the same run. <laughs> it's true. Because this game is super easy. Yeah, dude, we're fine. We're going to get our power and it's going to be awesome. Mm -hmm. Going to be awesome. Oh, for time we miss a, I'm oh, sure, mm -hmm. a couple times. How's the frame rate looking, by the way, guys? Just want to know. We dropped significantly less frames, so it should be better. It looks better. From yeah, it's... it's well, if we had the volume turned up and we're not yeah, talking we, to you guys, we would be we, better. That's what not have the volume That's on. what you guys are for. Yeah, you guys. Psh, this is your responsibility. Is this actually the exit? This is totally the exit. Why am I here? I don't know. I'm gonna get. Oh wait, no. This is the right way to the area that I was before. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> You're terrible. At this game. You're so bad. Yeah. So the reason why I want to get this power is because like my very favorite node area of the game is like one that you can get you know the power to after one power yeah after one power so it's very very cool that well all of the all of the yeah i guess these are actually one power. okay we we actually have enough so i'm just gonna wrap the oh yeah you can map. uh no, no you can actually fast travel oh yeah uh oh yeah one there we go bam fast travel perfect not like you need it though really yeah no like that's the thing it steals half the fun of this game which is just the movement the movement is really what, and the aesthetic is what I come sure, to this game for. This yeah, that's why um, I never. Yeah, I don't think I fast traveled ever. Nope. And I and, and I still came in well under the time requirement. All right, let's do it. Let's do Get it. That. Uh, it was the red power, right? Red power, yeah. Red power. Oh, cutscene. Cutscene. About... So oh, dead. it's the king. Yeah. Right. He comes in attacks. Yeah. Ow. Ow. Oh, shit. So what's happened so far today? You think there's anything that can't be? <laughs> it's just like, this is a really huge Simon set. Or Simon. <laughs> oh, man. No, it's just, this is actually half of a pop in music cabinet. <laughs> this is, uh... They're missing the three upper buttons, but... Think about courting on those. It's just being trapped. We can get out of here? If you had multiple people, maybe. Yes. <sighs> pop in music cabinets. The songs are so freaking fast. That, that, fertile grounds. Oh, fertile grounds. Good, good. That, uh, we just said it three times. Oh uh, yeah, that's why. Mm. This is a little bit less sexual. Yeah, but it's. Yeah, you didn't push it fast enough. He helps her on that one. I'm ready. So oh right, she's yes. Ready. Oh right. We have yeah, there's little tutorials that help you learn the powers. Yes, you just said it. Them. 
Oh, okay. have to teach me how to use them. Oh, X is the power, isn't it? When no, it's L. It's Y. Is it? Oh yeah, you're right. It's magical, man. It's Elica. Uh, so I, I'd like to take one one second to while he's like going through them. Would actually be a great way to introduce a game. Just have uh, the drinking game for your game introduced uh, while you're doing the tutorial. That would be great. Matt, a design notes. Or I feel like what we should do is just hack this game and have a little like beer icon pop up whenever <laughs> they say for top. Right. Just re replace it in the um, <laughs> in the subtitles. We need to reach the beer. Of beer. <laughs> <laughs> we need to reach the beer. Or just like two animated oh, beer beer the bottles on the other side on either side. Fertile grounds beers. <laughs> oh God. Where was he in your hour of need? Elica, I am your. Ah, he's also or Moss dead. works in mysterious ways. So he's a dick and screwed over the entire world. Mm-hmm. Say the next time you want to win your daughter back, oh, you can try Nathan just Drake. her a pony. The apocalypse doesn't really cut it. Wow. Witty 20 somethings. Oh, murdering man. people. Actually, the prince murders less people <laughs> than expression. Nathan Drake. That's true. Dude, the prince like No nah, spoilers. Did we have this for Xbox? We did. And you didn't what? have it for PS3. Yeah. Have yeah. You have for PS3. Have for Xbox. Okay. Why? For Tiger Grounds. For Tiger Grounds. Go to them. I'd like to take a point here to talk about um, the aesthetic. I guess, so the, a big reason why... We wanted... Yeah. You, uh, no, the machinery... Wait. Yeah, the machinery. Machinery yeah. ground, yeah. Yeah, so you can teleport to there. Right. Um, the big reason why we chose this game is because it's really easy to see the game design goals like right up on the surface of the game, like what they sacrificed to get there. Um, so, why the the aesthetic is more than just like pretty. Like what what they were going for, and I think that they really succeeded when they had all this concept. You gotta press Y. When they had all this concept art for the game. Usually, it's sort of like a little cell shaded, a little stylized, um, and they usually sort of like render it out more realistically for a lot of games. But the concept artists will still do these sketches in a more stylized form because it's easier to sort of set a mood, convey the tone. But early on in the development process, they were like, you know, we want this game to look like those sketches. Like, that is the aesthetic. Thank we you. want it to look like a sort of Thousand and One Nights concept art sketch that our artists have for the game. And so it's remarkable how close they came to it. Um, the, the sort of, it's not even really painterly. It's like really hard to describe what this style is. Go. Right, nice. Hey, it was the next one. I can only say it as like almost like a graphic pen style, almost Borderlands-ish, but more like a painting. Uh, and it's it's kind of an interesting... I don't think I've ever seen a game go for that before. Borderlands uh, definitely attempted it, but I think went in a little bit of a different direction. And I think it's really successful. They the, weren't just going for like, the, oh, let's make bright colors. They had a real idea. It, of it's the hard like. ink edges and yeah. everything. Um, I, I would... The only thing that what it kind of reminds me of is uh, Street Fighter Four has the oh, yeah, Simo Yi yeah. style yeah. ink thing, um, which was oh oh get it get it get it get it get it got it got it. If you platform like they they spawn and you can hear them, and if you platform perfectly up to them, you can actually get them before they spawn. Yeah, which is another. It, it's a minor thing, but it's a it's a benefit to platforming. So that incentivizes. Matt, you need a sippy cup to drink apple juice out of. Apparently. What? Hashtag jerk friend by Ken. Thanks, Ken. No, yeah, you, dude, you, you went the wrong way there. Hmm? She, you? She's guiding me this way. Oh, okay. Which is the way you went before. Yeah, you gotta go up uh, over there. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, climb yeah. that. Yeah, 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 yeah. There are no ladders in this. World. Who needs ladders? Okay. Just push up and A. Okay. And then around this way. There we go. Anyway, that was my thing about the aesthetic. Uh, 
I like this game because it attempted an aesthetic and it works really well, and it. I don't know. It, it just feels like it goes with the gameplay. Yeah, yeah. the graphics. You feel like you're in a Persian myth. Eyes. You're in a Persian myth, and it's all mythological. Oh, is this the? Oh crap! I forgot. This is the machinery ground. I don't remember this being machinery. Ground. Yeah, this is the machinery ground. Oh okay. Remember, maybe I'm thinking of the the workyards or something then instead. Over that way. What? Anyway, Where whatever. Eh. Machinery ground's cool. It's all cool. Yeah. It is. Or oh, wait, no, no, this is not the. This is the. This is not the machine. Yeah, no, this isn't. So does that goo actually mess with you if you touch? Yeah, it? you die. Yeah, you get pulled in. Oh. Uh, you totally get pulled in. What are you doing? And then Elika saves you. That was weird. Yep. I derped. Well, you should have hurt. We have to get across. Yep. Oh down! That was it. This TV is crap. Yeah, this TV is really dark and like terrible, so it's hard to see. Uh, what's really cool also is that because they have these like weird nodes, you can actually bypass areas. Like they have little routes that you can kind of bypass the main area. Yeah, I mean we can get anywhere, can get anywhere aside from these these secondary nodes already while it's all infected, while it's all uh, corrupted. I feel like we're just trying to avoid saying the FG word. Yes. Oh yes, the moving. Oh god, it's so good. I love those moving rings, dude. I know. Why? Why do we irrationally love all of? I I, I don't know, but it's just it. It all feels really good, and I might have screwed that up. Nope. Oh wrong. damn. I see them. Oh. Ah, it's still an easy battle. You can kick him off the edge, dude. Yeah, it's. Really cool. okay, that's the quick time at the wall. So the penalty for getting hit twice. No, you you ran through. Yeah, I know. I wanted to kick him off the edge. Though. Uh, no, it's not always X. It's sometimes it's something else. Yeah. Depends on the enemy. You got, you've got the, five. The early minutes. ones are a lot X. And we can go a little long because of uh, oh, technical yeah, difficulties. True. Yeah. Tech issues. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was on their side, not mine. Uh, it would mm -hmm. make sense. Mm -hmm. uh, I know League of Legends is having some big tournament or finals. Or yeah, who cool. even likes League of Legends anyway? But there's also no one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I just wanted to turn the character a little bit to show this little thing off. So there's also like, I mean, the platforming itself is really smartly modified by the corruption. I think. Mm -hmm. um, like there, I had to use the. Uh, the little ledge, the little uh, railing, but actually, you actually have to stand on that platform to run up a wall for a different route. Once yeah. you've once you've uh, disinfected. These guys might be stupid enough to sell. Uh, Lysol, Lysol, Lysol. Lysol. <laughs> spiritual Lysol. <laughs> Giant can of spiritual Lysol. Um, Elica is like peach, but instead of mushrooms, she pulls cleaning supplies out of her. Enormous. Oh god. And oh. Um, Nathan Drake never said anything about, um, Elika's weight on stream. That's no fun. Ah, oh, yeah. See? It's almost like he knew we were coming. Like how destiny was Not the most sexist thing ever. Peach pulls mushrooms out of her dress. There is, there is no corruption that you... It's all he's surrounded by corruption. I know, but I, I, I don't want to throw him into the corruption with my combo to the land early. Well, too bad. No, I'm terrible at this. I, I'm not doing well at the combo right you should do. You should get him against the, uh, the pillar. Yes, I should. He's dragging you in. But he doesn't want to cooperate, and it's been a while since I've done it. It's battle system. I was rocking the battle system. Helicopter, where's the follow up? Terrible. I am. Like I said, this is not what I like about this game. Oh, oh Helica. See, I just I missed see, it. was the, why? I missed Told the you. input. Yeah. Oh. That's okay, okay uh, so. Well, that Matthew, wasn't a lot of health recovery. Uh, it gets worse as the. Yeah, this is, this is tier one. Yeah. Or tier two, I guess. 
Oh, one other thing to note fun. is because this game, it's not open world, it's but it's kind of open-ended. You can tackle the areas in whatever way you choose. Um, the bosses all get harder every time you fight them. So this is the second time we fought the Alchemist, which means that he gets like a couple of extra moves from the first time we fought him. But by the fourth time we fight him, wherever that happens hey, bro, to be, God damn it. he's like amazingly difficult. And by the boss, he's like, you know, the hardest thing. And by amazingly difficult, I mean for this game. This game is I don't understand why this guy is so evil. Like, he just wanted immortality. Yeah, so the 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 various bosses are basically generals of the old society that were... Were a concubine, as the case may be. Yeah, you know, generals of the old society. Important people from the old society. There we go, that's... Elika! What the... Oh, oh he was... Right. I'd make a joke about commanding arms, but... Yeah. Yeah, beating beating the bosses on the hardest oh, modes um, definitely requires effort sometimes. Yeah, a little bit. You you can you can be stuck in a loop of the battle if you're not really being careful about things. Oh right, this is the corruption thing. Corruption is the same. Yeah, this is. I feel like this one game managed to pull the storylines from all three uh, Prince of Persia games. This is this is uh, Warrior Within. Warrior Within. God, yeah. that fucking game. Like I I really dislike oh, first round. I really disliked two and three. Like Sands of Time is one of my one of my all time favorite games. Never never played two and three. But uh, yeah, I really disliked uh, the Forgotten Sands. That was a terrible Yeah, game. Forgotten Sands is also really this, bad. This, 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 as easy as this game is, it is far and away a better game than, uh, than yeah. Forgotten Sands. Forgotten Sands was, I mean, it was basically a movie tying game at the end of the day. Come on, man. I think Even you actually can die. die. I forgot they made a Prince of Persia movie. Yeah. With Jake Gyllenhaal, right? Jake Gyllenhaal, yeah. But it's better if it's alliterative. Jake Gyllenhaal. No, I know. I, I, I think it's actually Jake Gyllenhaal. Gyllenhaal. I guess you could hit that thing and fall into the corruption. Come on, get the pretty, man. She's gonna heal your ground. If you know what I mean. Really, let's just stop that. Oh no, it's moving so fast, however will I time it? <laughs> <laughs> I just I fucking love that. It's so convenient. It's so unnecessary. But it's 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 so good though. I know it, it's this false, like it completes it, the aesthetic. It, well, it's, it's just as yeah. false as any like moving piece of architecture in a, an escape sequence that's never gonna hit you. Yeah, yeah. The, the scripted the scripted bits that around. never yeah that fall around you just as you get there like you know Tomb Raider is. Oh my god, was. that platform right there was the friggin' hardest to get to. Do you remember that? Yeah, that but, was the, literally the last light seed. I got all yeah. the light seeds in this game. This is how much I like this game. Every I've gotten all of the light seeds twice. In this game. Okay, well, you like this game more than I do. No, I just own it. Uh, twice now. So, what was it like? Oh yeah, Psh, I paid three dollars and twenty three cents for this game. <laughs> so, no joke, it's three dollars at retail. So you should be able to pick this game used, up. Used, used, used. In fun. fairness. It, this game is available. Is that why the graphics don't look as good as, uh... Oh, it is available. Ah. Yes. Probably not more than, like, five or ten bucks. If you have all the pre If you want more pretty pretties in 1080p Steam. Yeah. The right way. Gravity! Gravity. I might this is the problem with this show. Save is file. It, I think it makes us it makes us want to play these games again. Yeah. Yeah. Or it made me buy Don't Starve, which is terrible because I shouldn't be buying any games at all. But it's it was only like what ten bucks? Twelve dollars for That's two. It. Ah, okay. I, I, I can think of worse values in gaming. No, no wait, no. Sure. I gave you my gift copy. Yes, yes, you did. Okay. Yeah, Don't Starve was pretty fun. I'm just kind of. Not even paying attention to my routing because there's there's only really one way to go in this area. You know what I really like? Stuff. We originally didn't do K-Pole games because you weren't going to be here. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Matt. I just this game. It, clearly, your priorities are straight. Yeah. Where? Where do you go? It's, Up? No, it's oh. a ring over here. Of course. It's all linear. I'm feeling better than I I thought I was gonna be feeling. All right, probably actually capable of games next time. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Barely. 
speedrunner strats right there. So yeah, yeah, I think strats. I'm going to be taking one of my finals uh, when this thing is supposed to be going on next week. So not coming next week. Jolly Jeff. No. Then gravity. Watch. Gravity. Yeah, that that's the one where it's like I think that's the real one where you're yeah, just like, or it's, it's from going down <laughs> to going horizontally under and to going to up. going up again. It's like sure, why the whole not? Spider Prince. Will work. Spider Prince. It will work, right? Nope. And then he died. Well, no, because doesn't the alchemist come and mess you up? Oh, apparently not. No, not this. Time. Yep. I wonder how many times they had her record that sound clip. You're obsessed with that sound clip. It's kind of <laughs> creepy, dude. It is. Oh, um, I remember. Yeah, didn't they Chivo? have the they they achievement? If you yeah. walk out to the end of this, you get some like Assassin's Creed action. No, it's 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 called King of the World. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Fire call her. No, that's the. Oh. Oh, she blasts the corruption. Yeah, like, because y- you can climb to the highest heights and sink to the lowest lows. Mm. This isn't the highest heights, though. No. Or the lowest lows. No. Those are two other achievements. It worked. Yeah. The corruption's gone. Yeah, the corruption's gone. Good to hear the relief in your voice. Mm. Here was me thinking From the was a certainty. Fertile grounds. It seems we can change fate after all. Um. So Kayan said that being a female voice actor uh, probably has a lot of embarrassing moments, uh, and it probably does. Oh god, this game is so pretty. So yeah, you can see like some of the places have those little lights over them to indicate that you've healed them, and you can see the sort of corruption in the other areas. Like You can see the other areas. Um, oh, yeah. That is the rest of the, um, the veil uh, off to, right, that, that way? Oh no, wait, are we on the far right side? No. Oh, okay. Yeah, but you can kind of see, like... Yeah, where's the other stuff on the left? Then? Down? Oh, can you only see the stuff in this area? I guess you can only see the stuff in this area. Yeah. So, yeah, it's... it's So, yeah, this is just extra stuff. It's but all of variety. this area, all of this stuff here, is all of the other stuff in the veil. Like, yeah. Like, you can all see, like... The veil little, being these four These four nodes little here. nodes. Yeah, it's all this, like, one little area. And you, it makes me sad about how little you can interact with it. I mean, it's basically a linear path. Like, it's... They, they probably yeah. made this tiny little linear path and said for the level of designers, go crazy. Because most of it you don't interact with. Like, if you fall at the wrong spot, you clip straight through most of this geometry and it made me sad. But, um, that just makes me want them to make a sequel once again. Yeah. I would, I would love to see a sequel to this game. Well, let's check the, one. let's check the, uh, the little extra bit out here. This one? Yeah. Bam. Is just, is this just a, oh, I'm terrible at this. I think this is just a like teleport home. Basically. Yeah, this is this is just a return. Bam. Return to the main path there. But yeah, like all of the routing. <laughs> Why did he decide to grab awesome. onto that pole? That was great. Now I actually want to look up some speed runs in this game. I'm sure there are some. Oh my god. Uh, let's see. Anything else oh. I want to do? Um, the story, not bad. It, it th- They attempted to tell a linear story through open-ended gameplay, and it ends up coming off a little weird. Because you can defeat any of the bosses first, second, third, and fourth. And so the tone of the story is a little all over the place until you get, in, except for the beginning and the end. Um, but it's a really, it's kind of this touching, of course they fall in love. Um, it's this touching story. And there's this cool, like, secret ending, twist ending that you can kind of unlock if you want to that I thought was really interesting that leads into the DLC, which is, like, a little epilogue bit yeah. for those who really liked it. Um, I am aware that it's 5 after 9, so we're going to call it for tonight. Indeed well, we Matt, we're going to basically keep playing this game. Probably, <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's, it's highly likely. But we're just going to just... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is that? Mm. Um, How's it going? So yeah, Matt's gonna keep playing this game off screen while we wrap up. Uh, a couple of announcements though before we go. Uh, one, hopefully, if Matt's feeling better next week, we will be doing Kyle Pulver's games along with another interesting beer. Like I said, probably a stout. Uh, so that's gonna be next week on Craft Games Craft Beer. If you guys didn't know, every Tuesday and Friday we have our Let's 
shuffle, like a Let's Play of Uncharted 2. We're already on episode, like, 10, so we have, like, five hours of stuff already up on YouTube, and we post it on the website as well. The big news, though, is we've got a new weekly event. It's more than a show. It's an experience. Um, um, it's, it's called cool. Multiplayer Minecraft Mondays, and it starts next Monday. Next Monday, May 6th, and it's going to be a lot of fun. We have our own server, we have our own Ventrilo uh, channel, and we're going to be streaming that, uh, and you guys can come play if you have Minecraft, you can watch, you can chat with us, and uh, we're gonna have, we have this cool mod that we have on it where it's going to rotate what point of view it shows. And so if you were on the server, that means you might get on the stream. Well, you will, it's just a matter of time. So I think that was really cool. That's gonna be next, I'm sorry, this coming Monday, May 6th, you can go to the website, cloudboatarmada.com for all the details. And if you have Minecraft, you better get it up to date. We're on 151, so you can build all those redstone awesomeness. Um, is that the latest update? That is the latest update. So yeah, we're up on the latest update now. Uh, I think that's all the announcements we've got, actually. So uh, I'm really glad that you guys tuned in. And if we don't see you on Friday for the Let's Shuffle, or on Monday for the uh, Minecraft Mondays, we will see you here <laughs> next Wednesday for the next episode of Craft Games, Craft Beer. So have a great weekend, everybody. And uh, until then, game responsibly. Peace. We should. It never. It, it's. It. It never stops being. We should just have this as the last five minutes of the stream. Wow. You guys. Bye.